the MVP of the Eugene Regional, Gavin Dugas. Gavin, thanks for taking the time. We will get right into questions with Glenn West. Yeah, hey, Gavin. I mean, these last two nights from you in particular, just kind of one for the ages with this program. I mean, just just talk about, you know, just your, your performance over the last couple of nights and just the, the, you know, the confidence that you guys had, uh, especially down the stretch in some of these, you know, kind of crucial moments. I mean, it was just uh, kind of a, a, you know, tour de force for you guys down the stretch here. Uh, it's, it's, it's been an awesome experience. Uh, I credit everything to this team, this coaching staff. Uh, everybody has been affiliated with this association uh, with LSU baseball. It's just, we got a bunch of uh, great people surrounding us every day. Um, and it, it's, it's really good energy, really good vibes. It's, it's been going through uh, this team the last couple of days. And I think that's kind of what I most attribute this to. It, it, everybody's been uh, upbeat and high spirited. Uh, nobody's ever been down, uh, not one bit, to be honest. And um, I think that's one thing that's been driving me each and every day. You know, you play for LSU, um, and that's something you always dream about. And, and to be able to compete in these regionals and be able to move on to super games like this is, is just something that, that I'll never forget. And uh, it's, it's just a crazy experience. It's uh, full of emotions for sure. Michael Cable, WBRZ. Hey, Gavin. Um, if you would kind of take me through um, just your thoughts of, of the defense in the field. Obviously, you had a couple of big plays. Drew had a big play in center. Um, you guys, did you feel like this was going to be a big scoring game and you need to limit as many of the opportunities as they would have there with y'all's defense? Um, uh, we did know that our, our bullpen was was a little short. Um, we did have a lot of guys. Um, but at the end of the day, we knew that for us to win that game, we were going to have to hit, um, obviously, because it, it came down to Monday. Everybody's kind of run out of pitching a little bit, but we did know we had laying in the back of the bullpen. We had a bunch of guys ready, hot, ready to go. Um, but yes, we, we, we did uh, we did expect ourselves to have to come out and uh, compete and put a lot of runs up today. Um, but we expect to do that every day, um, no matter who we play, no matter what what day we play on. So yeah, just just pretty much like that. Let's go to Scott from the Baton Rouge Advocate. Gavin, uh, LSU's program, the super regional appearances aren't always celebrated, maybe as there are with other programs, but but uh, y'all y'all did something this year, first time lose to lose the first game of a regional, but you came back to win it all, uh, first time to win a regional on the road since 1989, I believe. Uh, and, and all this after a season where it looked like y'all were being counted out most of the year. Does this achievement where, where does it rank? Because, you you know, you, you play out there where you see the Intimidator every time you go out in the Oxbox Stadium. Where, where do you think this ranks for you and what, what you guys have been able to do uh, to this point? I think it's pretty high up there, to be honest. Um, um, just through the SEC, through half, about halfway through the SEC, we, we kind of got to a point where our backs were, were pretty much against the wall and we, we needed to start doing things to kind of put ourselves in the better, better position to, to get to the postseason. And that's something that kind of prepared us for this situation today. Um, we, were, we were running through the, the whole year, kind of kind of preparing one game at a time. And, and that's what we did the, throughout this whole term after losing that one game uh, to open the regional. And, and that's why I'm so confident in this team that they understand how to handle pressure. Um, we've been used to it all season. It's nothing that we can't handle, so. Wilson Alexander. Kevin, can you just kind of take us through uh, y'all's perspective there in the eighth inning? Uh, how you, did you start feeling kind of momentum shift when you got walked and then Kate had that big, you know, bouncing ball and then just sort of what was going through your mind as you ran down the third baseline and slid in to tie the game? I had all the confidence in the world, to be honest, whenever Katie hit that ball down the line and I was able to get the third. Um, I, I thought Drew honestly was going to come up and hit a ball so far. It was going to be unbelievable. But at the end of the day, he wasn't able to get a job done. But And just Jordan came up and uh, I'm sorry, Cade came up right after that and was able to pick him up just like that. And that's that's why I love this team because because guys are they're right there behind you, ready to pick you up. And I think that's what's going to get us going in the future. And that's why we're so excited to go to Knoxville and uh, get ready to play. Ron Snyder. Obviously, Coach keeps saying don't make it about him, but what does it mean to you guys as a collective unit to just be able to continue his career to another weekend? I know Coach told us yesterday that we won't let him retire, um, and we won't. We're going to go as long as we possibly can to uh, – Till, till we do what we need to do. Um, and it's, it's just an awesome experience just to, just to be a part of this. Uh, I love him to death and, and I'll do anything for him. I think that's, that's one thing that's kind of pushing this team forward. Um, and we got a lot of guys that are, that are doing a lot of great things right now. So that's, that's kind of, kind of where we're at. And we got, we got a lot of good momentum moving forward. So. Two more for you, Gavin. Let's go to Kevin from WAFB. 
Hey, Gavin, coming into this game, did you ever think that uh, a, a bulk with Kate Beloso being the culprit would be one of the reasons that y'all are now advancing to a Super Regional? <laughs> I did not. I did not. That was uh, that was pretty interesting to see. But at the end of the day, it's it's what happened. And uh, we were able to uh, have success from that. So. Last question, Wilson Alexander. Gavin, with Coach Maneri, it seemed like he might have had like the final out, the gut ball that was like the final out in his hands at the end. Did you notice? I mean, obviously you were doing television stuff. Did you notice that somebody gave that to him? I did not. Okay. All right. Thanks, Gavin. Congrats and uh, best of luck to Supers. Appreciate it.